what do you see sir as the future of the uh, the state of uh, andhra pradesh which you are so involved in and uh, you have always talked about telangana being a role model for the rest of india i know that you have started doing some work on also making andhra a role model for the rest of india how are you thinking about that no all uh, sometimes some changes will come after bifurcation i prepared a vision for 2029 hmm. telangana is having hyderabad is having some advantages one is climate advantage and also at that time abundant land in hyderabad andhra is having some more advantages one is sea coast on east coast best ports are available in andhra pradesh second advantage water flat land we can give every one acre irrigation that is possible third one andhra people because of telangana and andhra telugu people i promoted them even andhra people also very very enterprising either hyderabad or america everywhere they are doing extremely well and also i want to construct improved version of hyderabad that is amravati because in new city we can do better here it is only expansion or extension so all these things we have planned first time in public policy this is one issue where corporate governance or public governance leaders make all the difference always i strongly believe that either governance or public policies 25 years back on public policy i want to promote it today everywhere indians are there in it even i was responsible at that time for bringing reforms in telecommunication sector nobody used to understand at the time there was bsnl international calls bsnl domestic calls public limited companies lightning call if you book it will come after 7 days or 8 days <laughs> other countries are moving very fast about uh, smart cell phones wireless everything bandwidth all these things that is where i fought with uh, then uh, the prime minister convinced him vajpay ji i was the task force co chair person we have given report on the basis of that deregulation has come because of that every person if you see even villages they are using smartphones and recording everything and using cell phones what i am saying here all these things we have planned in andhra pradesh today we are having a problem amravati is uh, development has stopped i don't want to go much politics here it is a business school but at the same time business school leaders has to understand how things are happening with the public policies and governance public governance if you give good company i am seeing this also i am analyzing if you see one generation will start industry sometimes same generation will spoil also you have seen some of the case studies yes one generation will start industry second generation will spoil totally that is second first generation third second generation third generation trans transition in uh, private businesses it is very rare only some companies so the same thing in government i have seen same country so much of variation of governance and public policies even company startup companies you are seeing one startup company will do wonders it is only an idea how to execute it all depends upon leadership to as on today we are having some problem of the state one simple question i am telling you after bifurcation 
very difficult stage. I concentrated, focused very much, 10.8% growth rate, first of its kind in India, after independence, 5 years, 10.8% growth is unique, nowhere it has been done in India. That is how we have done. <laughs> now, same growth rate has come to 3.5 or 3.2%. You can see the difference. These are all the things, but we are committed, we have to rebuild, we have to contribute, not only giving vision for the nation or promoting, inspiring people, we have to contribute that state also, we will work in that direction. You are also participated at that time, he is a chairperson for bringing knowledge, education policy. No, sir, that was uh, the most amazing thing that uh, sir did is that not only did he invite me to chair the higher education committee, but the three, four of us who were in that committee, there was not a single person from the bureaucracy and there was no politician or minister to select the universities that would be given the license to operate in uh, Andhra Pradesh. This is unheard of. And uh, sir, when in the, in the center, uh, there was this new program the center started, Institution of Eminence. Yes. So they said, how are these, uh, how should we select? I said, there's an example yeah. in Andhra Pradesh. And they said, but how can we do this? I said, but it was done. There's a precedent of that. And so when they set up the selection committee, for this, I used this example, sir, yeah. where there was not, for the institutions of eminence program of the government of India, they actually did not put a senior officer yeah. or any politician. It was a completely independent committee. Yeah. And that lesson is from what you did, uh, which I think was unprecedented. Most people would not trust people from the private sector to make such uh, unbiased choices, yeah. some vested interest yeah. and so on. And there are a lot of people who objected. Yeah. Of course, there was a great uh, IS officer who worked with us, Sumika yeah. Daura, but... Uh, but ultimately, you are able to bring the uh, best uh, universities. If so, you when you do SRM, these things... When, yes, sir, sorry. SRM, SRM or Vint, Kriya, or Kriya. SLRI, yeah. or Amrut, all these things. Yes, Amrita University. Yes, Amrita sir. University, all these things have come. Some more universities on the way. We want to make Andhra Pradesh is a knowledge hub. Hyderabad also... One is ISB, if you can go to IIIT, Nalsar, Urdu University, all these things we have brought at that time. You know, the contribution you have made to education, I think, has been seminal. Yeah. So I have a question for you, which I think will benefit a lot of young people here. You have also seen ups and downs in your career, right? And uh, you have gone through a lot in your political career. You never give up. And uh, you're always so positive. Uh, most of us, do you go through times when you are sad or down or feel like, you know, it's hopeless? And how do you build the resilience? How do you have this courage, this positivity? Is it just something that you have in you or do you inculcate that? What message would you give to young people? No, in life, if you see, ups and downs will be there. Crisis will be there. Success will be there. Whenever there is a crisis, a right solution you have to find, move forward. Whenever you are successful also, next step you have to move forward. If you see Hyderabad, people may not remember me because 20 years. They may not acknowledge, but I am having satisfaction what I have done by seeing airport. <laughs> by seeing outer ring road, by seeing ISB. Inch by inch, around 80 times I inspected the city. Not one or two times, 80 times. Morning by 5.36, in a bus, I took all my officers across the city and given instructions. Again, action taken report, next visit. I won't tell them when I am going to come. They are all very, very tensioned. They used to do it. 
this is where I am saying, at the end of the day, what we have done is important. Sometimes, I am not expecting any return from anybody. Give back to the society, that is our duty. Great country, people gave me this opportunity to serve the state, our country. So many policies we are able to do. One final example I am giving you. Andhra Pradesh people gave me Samaikya combined Andhra Pradesh nine years as chief minister. Ten years I served as opposition leader. Nobody can break that record even in the near future because state is divided in two. It is possible to unite again. Some political statements some people will give irrational that I don't want to comment. Now better way again to develop what all you can do it. Either on the place or here also goodwill and continuously will build.